Hi everybody, welcome to Acorn and Bumblebee TV. I'm Miss Jasmine and I'm here in this beautiful forest in West Abbotsford with my own little bumblebees. And we are just crossing this little bridge and when we walked across, the trip tropping sound of our feet reminded me of a story, the story of the three billy goats gruff. Do you know that story? Once upon a time, there were three brothers, three billy goats. They were the billy goats gruff. There was the littlest billy goat, there was the medium billy goat, and then there was the biggest billy goat. And they had eaten all of the grass in the meadow where they lived. So they decided they were going to cross the bridge over the stream and get to the other side where there was a big, beautiful meadow just full of sweet, fresh green grass. So the littlest billy goat he set out first and he crossed the bridge. Trip, drop, trip, drop, trip, drop. The troll who lived under the bridge heard him coming. So he jumped up on the bridge and he said, who's that trip tropping on my bridge? Oh, well, it's just I, the littlest billy goat. I'm going to cross the bridge to get to the meadow on the other side. I'm very hungry. Well, I'm hungry too, said the troll, and I'm going to eat you up. Oh, don't eat me, said the littlest billy goat. You should wait for my medium brother. He's much bigger than I am, and he'll make a far better meal. Well, all right, grumbled the troll, and he let the littlest billy goat pass. Trip, drop, trip, drop, trip, drop. And he got to the other side of the bridge, over the stream, to the big, beautiful meadow, and started to eat some of that delicious green grass. A little while later, his medium-sized brother came to the bridge and he crossed it. Trip, drop, trip, drop, trip, drop. The troll heard him coming, jumped up on the bridge and said, who's that trip dropping on my bridge? Oh, well, it is I, the medium billy goat gruff, he said. I'm going to cross the bridge over the stream to get to the other side to meet my little brother so we can enjoy some of that green grass. I'm so hungry. Well, I'm hungry too, said the troll, and I'm going to eat you up. Oh, don't eat me, said the medium-sized billy goat. You should wait for my big brother. He would make a far better meal than I would. Well, all right, grumbled the troll, and he let him pass. A little while later, the biggest billy goat came to the bridge, and he crossed over. Trip, trop, trip, trop, trip. Drop. Well, the troll certainly heard him coming, jumped up onto the bridge and said, Who's that trip tropping on my bridge? Well, it is I, the biggest billy goat. <gasps> and who are you? Well, I'm the troll who lives under this bridge, and I'm going to eat you up. Well, the biggest billy goat, he didn't like being spoken to like that very much, so he headbutted the troll off the bridge, splash, into the water, and the troll flowed away down the stream and was never heard of again. So the biggest billy goat finished crossing the bridge, trip, drop, trip, drop, trip, drop, met his brothers, and they all lived happily ever after in the big, beautiful green meadow. The end. We're going to play a game that I learned from one of my family friends growing up, and she read about it in one of the stories about Winnie the Pooh. You each pick your own stick, and you want a stick that's a little bit distinct, a little bit different than everyone else's, and everyone throws them in the water at the same time on one side of the bridge, and then you go and you very carefully walk to the other side of the bridge, and you see whose stick comes out the other side first, and that person's the winner. All right, let's pick our sticks. sit down and have a little picnic in the forest here and then we'll pack up and head home. And I just want to remind you that when we come to the forest we're really careful not to step on any of the precious little flowers or plants that are growing.
and we're going to leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but pictures. That means that we're not going to leave our garbage behind, we're going to take everything home with us, and we're not going to pick flowers or take things out of the forest that belong here.